Hey everybody, we're back in the bedroom. So today I wanted to update you about my current situation, <laughs> basically. So today I just wanted to give you another health update. I know last time I posted one, I talked about my frustrations with my pain levels and how I still hadn't figured out what was going on. I do now have a official diagnosis and official treatment plan, which is awesome and also not awesome at the same time. So after my last MRI, I went back to my ortho and he confirmed that I have a labral tear. So basically what that means, there's like a band or ridge of cartilage around your hip socket, which keeps your hip in place and uh, from moving around too much. It makes basically makes your hip socket burn more stable. So I have a tear in there, a pretty significant tear in that area and which they're determining is causing my pain. So basically at some point in time, everybody in their life will have a labral tear. It just all depends on how it affects you and your daily function, which is just how my ortho had described it to me. But because mine has been very persistent for pretty much a year, and even with the generalized treatment plan with uh, physical therapy, injections, things like that, it's not getting better. He had referred me to a to see another spe hip specialist who is more well-versed in arthroscopic procedures. So basically they take uh, a scope and take a look around in there and see what's going on. So I made an appointment with a specialist not local to me, <laughs> so it was quite a hike, and we determined that I need surgery. So since my tear is quite significant and causing me daily pain, PT and injections are just masks at this point. They uh, obviously didn't help the first time. I mean, the injection did help, but they're not meant to be forever. And I could continue to do PT and injections, but I'm really just putting a giant Band-Aid over everything. So it was determined that I need surgery, and so in just a couple weeks, I will be having surgery. Things move, have been moving since I got my diagnosis. Things have been moving very fast, which is actually what I wish would have happened earlier. <laughs> Instead of me having to wait almost a whole year to find out what was going on. So my surgery is scheduled, it's coming up fast. I have so much that I want to do beforehand that's not going to happen. But I've come to terms with that and I'm just trying to push through as best I can and get things done. Whatever I can get done, get done. 2019 has already started with a bang and I feel like I have been more accomplished in these past several weeks than I have in the last two months, which is awesome. I decided to challenge myself to do yoga every day up until my surgery and hopefully afterwards I'll be able to continue after my recovery. I am not going to have an easy or fast recovery. It's doesn't sound like it's going to be much fun. From what I understand, the day after my surgery, I will be going straight to physical therapy, which um, probably gonna suck a lot, but uh, I am not supposed to be putting on any pressure or weight on my entire leg after the surgery for two weeks. This means I will need assistance getting around. I'm going to have to use a walker or a cane or crutches to move. I live in a bi-level home, so it's going to be very interesting. Uh, I really can't set up shop on the main level because unfortunately I, um, I love my pets, love them to death, but my cats will bother me. And the last time I hung out downstairs after my last surgery, uh, one of my cats did use my stomach as a springboard uh, and it was very painful, so I'm going to have to try and make it up and down the stairs. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, yeah, so for two weeks, obviously no driving. I'm not 
even going to be able to bend my leg at a 90 degree angle so sitting upright in a chair isn't going to be a thing for me uh, and I cannot bear any weight on it at all for two weeks and then after that I slowly increase the amount of pressure I can put on my leg so it is going to be an interesting recovery that's why I'm trying to set the foundation now for uh, daily motion with yoga so that I hopefully even going through physical therapy after my surgery I can continue to stay active because I was in so much pain all year I kind of super decreased my activity level uh, with my last video you know that I retired from roller derby uh, and then I was basically afraid to do anything else after that I tried doing workouts and they put me in so much pain the day of the day after the week after I just stopped really moving my body as much as I was and that's not good for multiple reasons for physically and also mentally so yeah I'm trying to make an effort to move daily and just get off my butt so I have a couple weeks left to finish my task list and then the surgery hits and we'll see how it goes so basically yeah that is what's going on with me trying to finish just trying to finish my checklist as best I can before surgery happens and film some content for you guys while I'm recovering because I'm not going to be super mobile for a little while um if you want surgery updates let me know I can certainly do that again my lighting just got weirder in here because I don't know what's going on outside uh but if you want me to do another surgery follow along like I did last time with my hysterectomy please let me know I can uh try and film some stuff for you guys I do have a lot of backlogged content that I need to finish editing that I will post for you. Some of it is like a year old. But <laughs> I work at a snail's pace. I have another job. I mean, I have a job. This really isn't my job. I don't make any money off doing this. I just do it for fun. Uh, I'm not monetized. Love to, would love to be able to do more unboxings and fun stuff and bring some fun stuff to this channel. Just don't have the funds just don't have the funds for it but that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day anyways uh yeah just let me know what you guys want to see from me while i'm recovering i'm going to try and have some content up for you i promise there will be more vinyl videos up soon um i'm working on those i just want to make sure i have some content for you guys while i'm away uh like i said some of it's going to be older but I mean, better late than never, right? I filmed it, I put the time into it. It's just finishing the editing up. Cause like I said, this is not my job. I do work outside of this, which I'm going to be out of work for a little while. Um, yay. So if you guys want to um, buy me a coffee here and there, I do have a Kofi account now. I will post that in my description below if you guys wanna just donate a little bit of your money to me you don't have to I don't have a patreon or anything like that but yeah if you want to throw a couple bucks my way that'd be awesome while I'm recovering because I'm gonna be out of a job you don't have to don't feel obligated doesn't matter whatever but if you like my content and you want to support me um, besides just being a subscriber which is awesome please share and like these videos uh, and uh, yeah you can buy me a coffee that'd be another way to help uh, ease the pain a little bit because I do love coffee <laughs> a lot so yeah that's kind of what's going on with me uh, let me know what you want to see from me while I'm away I'm planning some things I have some things just trying to get some things in order before surgery time so that's about it with my health update I'm getting a little rambly here in the end uh, I hope you all have a great day and uh, I'll see you next time bye